All right, let's, uh, let's get into our trending topics today. So let's take a look and see what it is that is topping the trends list. Here we go. Let's put them up for you. All right, there, Al Jazeera documentary. Goodness gracious me. To be honest with you, I miss this. I have been sent it in, I, I don't know how many formats and how many WhatsApps people have sent it, sent it through and said, you've got to watch this. This is something that's quite, um, uh, yeah, quite disappointing and disturbing. So the, this is the big one. In fact, Al Jazeera documentary and Gold Mafia go together. That's what the actual documentary is called, Gold Mafia. So this was shown last night and uh, it just had so many different revelations. It's quite unbelievable, actually. Uh, Yumit Angel, a top Zimbabwean diplomat, was basically in this documentary, just one of the aspects, was caught offering to help an undercover journalist smuggle gold. His operation had the approval in this documentary, apparently, of the Zimbabwean president, Emerson Munangagwa. And uh, those Al Jazeera reporters posed as Chinese nationals that were wanting to uh, launder money. That was what it was all about. And they found that Angel and his business partner, Ricky Doolan, and Mnangagwa's niece were very, very happy to help with this. So uh, it is a huge expose. This is just episode one. Apparently, there's a lot more to come from that. And uh, e even with regard to cigarette, the illicit cigarette smuggling, this is also something that is, uh, that's covered in there as well. So it is, it is a massive documentary right now that's causing huge waves. And it's, it's very freely available and uh, something that I have been told by everybody I need to watch. It's quite a bombshell series, I must say. Um, it was broadcast on, on uh, DSTV and uh, it's, yeah, very, very interesting. So go out there and, and have a look at it if you haven't already. So again, pushing that, uh, that whole sort of, sort of theory that Africa is such a rich continent. However, it does not have good leadership. That rich continent with poor leadership and the hands, hence what happens to the people of the continent. So yeah, go out there, have a look if you haven't already. EFF Presso, as always, EFF coming through having their press conference. And this I think was a particularly interesting one because this is, was uh, straight after the uh, shutdown that was on Monday. So EFF Presser was one that, uh, that was trending and it, it, it always is a big talking point. And of course, the EFF talking about a whole host of things with regard uh, to that and also, you know, saying that they called this a, 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 a huge success and the, the, particularly the shutdown. It was, a, it was a good one. They were happy with the way things went and, you know, just a whole bunch of things, just giving a, a feedback session there. So everybody talking to that EFF presser that was held yesterday. So that was a, a big one. Also wishing the uh, community, the Muslim community, a peaceful and blessed Ramadan. I know everybody is doing that. So that's going to, uh, that's certainly is one we would like to also uh, pass on to all of our Muslim viewers a, a very very peaceful and blessed Ramadan to you as well and then Dr Nandipa gosh this story is one that just keeps on giving doesn't it because what happened yesterday now because you, you'll know that the whole link between Tabo Besta we rang the story in the news whether or not uh, he actually died in that fire or escaped from prison, but it's certainly looking like this was an escape. Definitely did not, was not him that uh, was that was burnt in that fire during, you know, a, a few years back. But now, and he was, of course, sp spotted shopping in Santon City with Dr. Nandipa. And what they're saying is a lot of investigation into this. But the, the, the twist in this story now is that um, Dr. Nandipa's possessions were being removed from her uh, rented Hyde Park mansion. This happened on Tuesday uh, when there was apparently a, a bit of a fight that broke out with the landlord. And the landlord has claimed that some of the things being removed from the building actually belong to him. So this is quite a very interesting story and there's lots of investigations coming out. And you know that's a picture that was, that was taken in Santon City. And this is what got everybody speaking, saying, hang on, hold on, that's Tabo Besta. Didn't he die in prison? And there he is spotted with Dr. Nandipa and, and apparently her daughter. And yeah, there's just lots. And since then, Dr. Nandipa's uh, social media handles have basically gone quiet. And there's a very, very, very big silence happening on that side. So nobody really knows what's going on. The police say that they're an advanced stage of investigating this one. So yeah, that's, a, that's another big trending topic.